So there are three fundamental challenges. Um, scalability and the ability to process transactions at the speeds, at the low cost, and in the volumes that web systems do today. Because that speed, that low cost, and that volume is already the baseline requirement of many application creators and their users. Then there's connectivity and the ability to ingest and process and securely and reliably use all other systems. Those other systems can be blockchains, those other systems can be data sources, those other systems can be AI, compute, but in the web world, you can combine and string together a huge amount of different resources. You know, Netflix, Uber, all these advanced applications people use on a daily basis, they're actually made up of hundreds, sometimes thousands of separate microservices that are all combined and all of them play unique different roles around data, around compute, around connectivity. And so what you need is a connectivity layer and an orchestration layer to allow all of those different things to work together and to connect into blockchains, which is uh, the initial main thing that Chainlink was doing, is doing, and is, is kind of excelling at. And then you have privacy, and the need to keep transaction details private um, to the degree that they're kept private in the Web2 world at least, but ideally to an even greater degree. So on the scalability the dimension, Oracle networks can be used to do various computations that blockchains can't do or that blockchains can't do efficiently. On the connectivity dimension, uh, the Chainlink network is the current global connectivity standard um, for external data to various compute resources, and in many ways is becoming the standard for connectivity across chains. So the connectivity piece is the piece that Chainlink is really starting from and expanding into those other two pieces of scalability and privacy. And preserving privacy is something that the Chainlink network already creates for various types of data by using zero-knowledge proofs and other technologies and injecting a certain new level of privacy around that data or around that compute. And Oracle networks can also basically be a parallel system to blockchains where the private things can live while the more public things live in blockchains. So you really need to solve those three problems. Once you have the scalability to process transactions with the help of Oracle networks, once you have the connectivity to all systems, resources, and other chains to create the internet of contracts, access all data, interact with AI, interact with all computing systems and infrastructures that exist today, and once you have the ability to keep transaction information that you want and need to be private to be private using various zero knowledge proof techniques or offloading certain computations into trusted execution environments in Oracle networks or using uh, various other techniques like homomorphic encryption in Oracle networks to create this privacy, you can arrive at a world where you reach a level of parity for the scalability, connectivity, and privacy with web uh, infrastructure. And then in that world, blockchain systems, smart contracts, Oracle networks, the verifiable applications which they create, will always have an immediate massive advantage of being verifiable and being guaranteed. And this massive advantage is an advantage that the web infrastructure can never attain. It simply cannot become verifiable, it cannot become deterministic, it cannot become decentralized. Once you reach this, or even approach this higher level of parity, with web infrastructure, providing the scalability, connectivity, and privacy, and you have this unique property of being deterministic, verifiable, decentralized, that is when I feel all value, all transactions, all data, all peer-to-peer -peer relationships, digital relationships, migrate to this, um, I'm as fast and cheap and scalable, um, I'm as or more connected, and I'm as, as or more private, and I can give you a verifiable application, which means you can verify what the application does and how it works before you join. You can verify how the application is performing, what it's doing with your money, how your money's at risk, you know, what's going on with the value and your relationship with that application on an ongoing basis. And then you have the capacity to leave the system unilaterally at any time based on the conditions you initially verified. And so these verifiable web, verifiable application properties are extremely important, and I think they'll only become more important over time. And I think many people don't realize that this is even an option. And uh, the verifiable web and verifiable applications and decentralized computing from the Chainlink network is something that I think will bring it to them.